Fentanyl is one of the deadliest street drugs. We talk about it often, but it's important to note that it is also used in the hospital when it comes to treating pain. A team of researchers from Mass General Hospital recently studied fentanyl's effects on the brain, and they found that fentanyl produces a specific brain signature that the researchers say will help doctors better gauge just how much to give somebody. Now, currently, they say there's really no way of knowing if opioids, particularly fentanyl, are working in patients who are sedated. In the intensive care unit. And there really matters because they really don't have direct measurements of the effect of the opioid to help guide their administration. Patrick Perdon's team also studied fentanyl's effects on the respiratory system. And he says that patients that were given the drug actually stopped breathing minutes before there was any change in alertness. He says this explains why fentanyl is one of the deadliest drugs in the opioid epidemic. This is why you know people are are dying um, when exposed to you know even maybe trace amounts of fentanyl because the the effect on the respiratory system is you know really profound uh, and it happens before um, there's any change in sedation or awareness. Now in the hospital, fentanyl is only given by trained medical professionals, and Perdon says that his team's research really underscores that no amount of the drug is safe when taken outside of that setting.